Welcome back to Fiesta Friday. As I mentioned earlier, we are in the beautiful village of Marizzo, and I am with the mayor, Mr. Ernest Chargoloff. Thanks for having us. Well, you're welcome. You're always welcome here, Marisa. <laughs> Tell us about the, the fiesta, because it's usually one of the biggest ones on the island. Uh, yes, it is, but you know, in recent years, uh, families have started, you know, with the prices, soaring, rice, chicken, ribs. I believe the families are now starting to unite rather than divide, because for cost uh, uh, reduction. But there's still families that, that, that are fiesting, but now as they emerge, it's bigger scale because they, they're able to accommodate all their guests all at once. So uh, although there's not a whole lot, not every, almost everybody, but when there is a fiesta, it's a big uh, gala event for them. And of course the fiestas are to celebrate uh, the, the patron saint, right? Yes, it is, uh, it is our patron saint, uh, saint, and we're always celebrating every year. And, uh, you know, it's one of the places you want like to be because... Uh, the warm and the hospitality of our people here. You know, so that's every year that, that brings the crowd down here because of the warmth and the hospitality that's always extended to whether you're a stranger or a family friend or a relative. The hospitality is always extended all the same. All right, and, and I understand that you um, you guys are, like all the other villages on Guam, participating in uh, the Guam Visitors Bureau uh, campaign to promote the island. and. Uh, tell us about the family that you've recommended. Well, for the second year in a row, because of the of their experience in preparing, I you know I was hesitant to try to find another family only because there are a lot of uh, requirements. Other, you know, before you embark in uh, entertaining an, an additional 150 to 200 yes, and I'm looking at space availability for to accommodate the usual guests along with the ZVB uh, Japanese tourists. So uh, Mr. Chimpaku, you know, I referred them back to ZVB. And unless another family can show me that they're able to accommodate that much, then I, probably, I can probably do the switch. But in the meantime, if it ain't, if it ain't broke, well, I'm not gonna fix it. So I, uh, not only did the Japanese enjoy themselves last year, they, were, they really wanted to come back and, uh, uh, get a taste of the same medicine that they had. The hospitality, like you said, the warmth and the, uh, it's a personable uh, fiesta for them. Uh, no one else and nowhere else in the world provides that for them free. They were accommodated, uh, they were greeted warmly, they were entertained, they were fed very good and they were, uh, saw, and they saw them off like they were royal guests. So I guess that, that will pretty much stick in there. And the word of mouth when they get back to Japan, they say, wow, we were treated so royally in Guam. I'd like to one day go back there and, and uh, maybe be a part of the, the group that was picked to be accommodated. Right, well, thank you so much for having us down here in the beautiful village of Marie. So any final comments to island residents? Well, uh, to those that have relatives and friends, pick up the phone and say, are you having fiesta? And come on down and enjoy yourselves. It's going to, it looks like the weather is going to hold up. We're going to have beautiful weather. I hope uh, Mother Nature gives us the more of the same uh, this past week where it's mostly sunny, you know, until maybe late, later on in the evening. But during the daytime, it's nice and sunny and breezy. So come on down and uh, enjoy yourselves for the fiesta. Right. Thank you so much.